Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm not Gemini, I'm creating mainly trailer in the Star Citizen universe and I'm also the founder of Citizen Content Creator, a community discord gathering all types of creation and content creator. Videos in Star Citizen are very popular, whether it's cinematic, teaser trailer or machinima. In this video, I will give you some tips if you want to start making some videos in the Star Citizen universe. I'll start with a very brief reminder of the camera control. Third person camera. Almost all action with the camera need to stay press the F4 key. Observe the key on the keypad that will light up in green. Press the F4 key to enter the third person view. Press the Z button to switch to free look mode. This allows you to turn the camera around your character. Camera movements. Press the down arrow to make a rear traveling. The up arrow to make a front traveling. The same goes for left and right. Press page up to go up, press page down to go down. Press the asterisk to reset your camera. You can zoom out and zoom in by using your mouse wheel. Focal length and field of view. Press the minus button several times to increase the focal length and reduce the field of view. Press the plus button several times to reduce the focal length and increase the field of view. Depth of field. Press the home button several times to increase the blur. Now try to use the previously seen camera movements to adjust the sharpness on your character or the desired object. Play with different movements such as traveling, focal and zoom. Once you are satisfied, press the end button several times to reduce the blur. Obviously, as you can see, it takes a little time, but whether you want to make a video or screenshot, the depth of field is very important. Let's get to the earth of the matter. What do you need to do or know to start making a great video in Star Citizen? Whether you want to introduce a new ship or to create a machinima, these types will help you to make your content more enjoyable to look at and more interesting. In the technical part, we will have the camera angles, the proportion of your frame, the lightning of your scene. In originality, there will be your creativity, your musical choice, also to share to arouse the emotion of a work. Camera angle, they will help you to tell a better story. Wide shot, long shot, medium shot, the cowboy shot, the close-up shot, the detailed shot, the low angle shot, the high angle shot, the Dutch angle shot, over the shoulder shot, cutaway shot. Frame proportion. This will be the first step if you wish to start recording something or do just a simple screenshot. In this video, I'm at Grimet currently and I will just play with the camera. I will move the camera around and zoom in, zoom out and try just to find a nice camera angle. You can use uh, one of the camera angle that you have seen before. There is no obligation because it also depends on the background. If for example you want to show uh, something in particular. Uh, and when you are doing this, you can use a rule is a third and two third. So in the right side you will have for example uh, the character. And on the left, the background, uh, for example, uh, here the, the advertising of ships and some lights. I will just specify that I have a 21 by 9 screen, but this rule is also working for us if you have a, a 16 by 9 uh, screen resolution. There is no difference. Okay. Um, uh, for the next, uh, I have uh, this other um, image, um, a video recording. Uh, as you can see, I have done the same. I have uh, one third and two thirds, and in the, into the two thirds part, I have the Casaba Outlet logo. Um, so this is something that you can use for many, um, many situations and so on. 
if you have already reshared installed on your computer, there is a package on the web that you can download. It's called Otis FX and there is a tool in it called Golden Ratio. Um, and so you can display it on your screen so you activate it and so you will be able it can help you to set up your uh, character place your um, background uh, image for example nature mountain mountains landscape and so on and so maybe it will help you to to take a nice screenshot i have not been using it very often because i have a 21 by 9 screen and so it's not uh, made for me it's more for 16 by 9 but it can be useful so you can download it on the web i will put the link into the description Light and lightning are crucial elements in a video because they play a big role in creating the visual impact and mood of a scene. The light can be used to set the tone and atmosphere of a video while lightning can add drama, excitement and tension to the footage. Proper lightning is essential for any video, shoot or screenshot. Proper lighting ensures that the subject is well lit, that the colors are accurate and that the details are visible. It also helps to create depth and dimension which can add a sense of realism to any footage. You will start by put your subject into your frame, find the best angle for the situation and depending where the light source is located. Once you have this, you will be able to start recording or take your screenshot. You can also use reshade to play with color and light. Uh, so I don't use it very often for video, but for screenshot, you 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 can use it, and uh, so you will be able to uh, enable a few things like DPX curves and level. Uh, you can also display the balance between dark and white, and so you can adjust. Uh, I recommend you to use it for your screenshot. You can have better contrast, um, better white and um, better color. Now that you have those tools to get a nice screenshot or a video capture, you want to improve them. And the next thing will be to add some movement to it. In screenshot, movements can be used to capture dynamic shots and add a sense of motion to the still image. In video, with your mouse, you will be able to do some camera movements such as panning, tilting and tracking. Sometimes you just want to have the camera shaking a little bit if you wish to add realism to the footage. You can just set the speed of your mouse very slow in the game setting or in your mouse setting for example. But the best solution is to have a controller or a joystick to create nice movements. You can also disable the global camera shake if you don't need it in the game settings. I hope these uh, few types can help you to start making videos in Star Citizen. Uh, if you need more help or something or you want to contact me, you can join me on my Discord. Uh, the second part of the video, if you like this first one, I will do a second one on, on the editing part. Uh, when I'm cutting my rush, I put it uh, with the music and how I'm putting everything um, uh, to have a finished product. Um, I'm working currently on a, on a trailer for uh, the Star Season and uh, the, the, certainly my latest uh, in Stanton before uh, Pyro is coming soon TM. Uh, so I uh, hope you will enjoy uh, my my next trailer. Uh, I cannot tell you when it will came out because uh, there is a lot of work uh, missing. Uh, but I hope um, in the meantime you will be able also to produce uh, some content and I will enjoy to watch it. Um, if you have any feedback just tell me in the comments. Uh, thank you guys, see you soon in the verse, bye bye, to the next time.